break from Mecca conference at 2018 I know you I hope you stay healthy brother in KSA okay so hi dr. Ali dr. why do you take photo in vivid mode instead or standard it depends vivid it's like more high saturation nor standard it's like a normal color I will show you to, to, uh, now hi dr. Katayun you're perfect dr. you welcome thank you so much dr. Katayun okay so so let's go start it okay guys I will turn off the the comment so today I will give you some a little bit uh, a little bit my tools dental photography with a uh, low cost yeah with the low price I mean because if you start new for dental photography so i suggest you to using a smartphone okay smartphone is the best way for you how to take a angle how to take a good photograph only with your your iphone or your phone or your smartphone everything because uh, since i beginning start my dental photography i always use my smartphone only i don't have any kind like this tools at 2000 when 2014 i started um, dental photography only with my iphone 5 yeah iphone 5 this is iphone 7 so i need to swap okay and i will show you how to take photo with these things and also now i will give you some presentation a little bit okay so how to start uh, dental photography okay do you want me to see my face okay this is my face yeah okay uh, dental photography dental photography uh, i start by uh, not a not a good or a specific things okay so i start by online okay in in my Maybe in my country, I have a Tokopedia or eBay or Shopee or whatever you like. So you don't need to go to the store. So you need to buy online. But uh, what is the specification for you to fit to dental photography? So for me, there is no high, exp uh, high specification. Even you buy the new one, maybe. You want the new one because the new one is very good. And also the high price yeah i'd not suggest you to do that because you know i start from I, I already compare it there is no difference okay so you know this this is many question which camera should i have what camera doctor so you can see the result also what what kind of photo do you like do you like smartphone do you like um diesel or do you like do you like mirrorless so it de depends your style you don't need to buy uh, anything eh, i mean you don't need to buy all all things you know you need to you need to to uh choose one so for me yeah so for me i i since i want to beginning dental photography so i start from uh smartphone okay i start from smartphone and then after i i guess my photo is not sharp as sharp as a digital camera so i need to change that because i love dental photography okay if you feel like ah, for me dental photography it's not for for daily maybe you want to just give some before and after only to your patient so it's okay you can only choose a smartphone but for me after i use my smartphone and then i want to upgrade because i need more and more and more so i need to uh, move forward upgrade to digital so i already try mirrorless also mirrorless is nice yeah it's it's very small and lightweight but i use that and i feel like uh yeah a little bit expensive and also the accessories there's not much accessory so i will compare with this yeah the, the benefit loss and and the lighting okay the the top is the dslr dslr is very cheap or at the old type you don't need to buy the new one maybe you can ask your father or your family they have a, a old camera since i have a, my my camera it's 
it's nikon see my cam see in this one so my camera is nikon d90 d90 it means you know this is already old d90 i think 2008 the production okay so the, the price there's no new brand so you need to buy the pre-love i think the new one is rare so yeah maybe around 100 dollars something like that so you don't need to spend money a lot you can see the dslr benefits so many accessories yes so you you have you have uh you know some uh some kind of a lens not the nikon brand see i have a tamron this is not the original one i think this is looks like uh yeah maybe you can cho choice to choose because of the cheap price so i choose tamron for the lens so there's so many accessories for uh, dslr okay but the loft is heavyweight yes yeah? some uh, uh, some girl dentist maybe women dentist i think that's not comfortable with that because heavyweight but for me yeah that's for the first time i think if you already use usually for your daily practice using the slr so the first time maybe you feel a heavyweight after you doing every day maybe you will usually use you use that so it will be like yeah lightweight after that so the loss also you need to see the eye the eyes you need to see on the optic viewfinder yeah this is optic viewfinder so your eyes need to see on this screen on this optic i mean so you don't need to see on this screen okay and the lighting that i usually use ring flash twin flash or box whatever you like lighting it depends what do you want okay uh you can see the mirrorless the benefits lightweight yeah and also electronic viewfinder i am not bring my mirrorless because my all my mirrorless on my microscope because i love video i love mirrorless to take a video sony is good for taking a video so when you use mirrorless you can see from this side so you don't need to see on the optic viewfinder so you need to you can see on the electronic viewfinder so that's the benefit for uh uh, uh mirrorless but the loss is expensive yeah i don't like expensive things and also not much accessories there is no tamron for sony a uh, rare i mean so if you if they have maybe still expensive and also not stable i mean if you drop your camera yeah you drop the camera it's it's so uh leak yeah sometimes it's gonna be the the viewfinder is it's wrong maybe you can yeah broke some yeah you need to take a money to to repair that okay and the last is the smartphone you can see the smartphones there is no speciality that you used all you you must you must use the iphone or android i think it's same yeah it depends the technique so for for iphone you uh, for i mean for smartphone okay it's very easy to take a photo just zoom yeah you need to zoom in half like this okay and this is a tooth and then just tap automatically and then just take photo like that tap and then take photo so simple and easy and very lightweight and also automatic but the loss is the quality picture you can see the quality pictures it's not i think it's not too sharp yeah yeah if you compare with the slr it's not sharp with the uh compare with the dslr is it's better dslr than the iphone or smartphone okay so if you want to try uh for beginning it's good to using a smartphone okay so let's go with talking about this one okay i really recommend you to use this dslr why because you see cheap okay i love cheap you don't need new body a lot of accessories and also stable so i already compare you can see the picture on the left there's i have a uh 
writing in there Nikon D3100 which is this is uh, this is I think this is type of not new one and I compare with D90 and I compare with D7100 I think the picture it's same yeah there is no big difference so that's why I love this one because you don't need new body okay the body is not depends the quality picture okay it depends your lens and also your lighting so they have a big brand in the world here yeah? Canon or Nikon or Sony or Fuji or what else Olympus uh, what else I don't know there is so many brand in the world so I think you need to choose only one and what what style do you want because Canon and Nikon you cannot compare which is the best yeah all the best yeah, it depends you your style so for me I love Nikon because I said I want to buy in online I have a only Nikon there so yeah I just I suddenly I buy Nikon there is no specialty why I choose Nikon okay you can see this see is the menu Nikon and Canon there's some different button some different setup setting how to deal with that if you want to know how to operate so you can see on youtube yeah or now i will show you with my nikon so what about this this uh, uh how what, what about the lens okay so many question about the lens okay which lens you need to buy yeah for me also if you have a kit lens yeah Yes, you can do that only with kit lens, okay? Because I start with the kit lens before I uh, upgrade to macro. You can see the kit lens. You you can take a photo, but you cannot go. Uh, you cannot take a macro photography because this lens is not prime lens. It is zoom in, zoom out. So you need to you need to move the zoom in or out, okay? For the result. Yeah, maybe if you want to take an anterior, maybe, yeah, this is the the range that you cannot reach uh, zoom in anymore, okay? So they, they have a limited uh, uh, photograph, okay? How about the uh, posterior? Posterior also, I uh, think that's not so good, yeah? I, I i need uh i need the uh, zoom in i need a uh, more macro okay so that's why uh let's compare about uh the 60 mm okay so this is my my lens every day i use 60 mm for anterior is so nice yeah so i really recommend you to use this and also the price also there's not so high price okay so this is a middle price but if you buy the lens there is yeah this is like an investment okay so if you buy the lens so if you want to sell it maybe after one or two years the price is no uh low okay still good price so not like the body if you buy the body now and then after one year you want to sell the body the price is very drop okay so what about the 100 millimeter so i have it also yeah for me uh, this is not for my daily practice i use this for yeah if you want to take a picture with the bear or a little bit so macro uh, veneers uh, portrait yeah, you can use this one okay but i don't like 100 millimeters for my daily practice okay because i still like a uh, heavyweight okay so why we need uh, which lens which lens do you recommend it, Dr. Gria? So I, I, I love this one, okay? Cheap, yes, lightweight, and also macro lens. They have a Tamron and also Nikon. So you need to buy Tamron for Nikon or Tamron for Canon. There is different mounting. Okay, why? Because in dentistry, in dentistry, we need to take a photo only with your one hand. Okay, see? I always, I always take a photo with only with my one hand. Can you imagine if you have Nikon 105 millimeters and you have a dual bracket and you have a two flash, okay? How, how you can imagine how do you uh, take a photo only with one hand? Sometimes you feel like so heavy. So that's not makes you enjoy that, okay? So I love this one because of the lightweight. 
now uh, you can see this is the 60 millimeters uh, price yeah you can compare the price with the 105 i think yeah 300 dollars it means a lot for me okay so you need buy i think you need to buy uh, 60 okay and uh, now let's compare about the 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 picture so i have a picture this picture i crop and zoom only 25 percent and then uh, sorry sorry this is the without crop okay i take a picture without cropping this is the original picture and then i cropping 25 percent and then i cropping 50 percent and then i cropping 100 percent see you can see some details some quality picture it's not uh, yeah not so nice picture yeah it's still sharp yeah so don't you don't need to buy uh 100 for this okay i, I and also um, i'm asian people i am not so tall you know i'm not so tall not like a european or or american people because they, uh, they have a so tall so that's why 100 millimeters is benefit for them because i'm asian people yeah 105 it makes me need some chair to do take a photo <laughs> so that's my opinion okay there is no offensive uh, reason so what else uh, talking about the lens and let's see about the setup okay i will show you the setup so so my 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 lens my lens it's always 60 millimeters so how about the setup uh this is my setup okay this is my my daily setup so i always choose manual okay manual and then shutter speed 125 i saw the lowest and white balance 5500 kelvin focus auto focus single and one point auto focus so i always use jpeg image quality why why i'm not using raw because i'm not editing doctor i'm not the editing editing dentist i don't like editing i don't have photoshop i don't have lightroom so all my image jpeg so i don't want to using my laptop waste my time to editing so if my pictures not good color so yeah you need to better better the day after day so jpeg also not is still good for your storage uh, memory card okay so um how about the accessories see the accessories i use this one a yeah, chick retractor with the spirit so i love this chick retractor because it's very cheap yeah maybe around one dollars why because with this chick retractor you can retract the mouth is very easily yeah uh i will show you oh wait uh another another wait 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 i have a video okay wait 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 See, I have another another chip retractor. This is called a clear view. This is good also, but this is not separate chip retractor. This is like uh, universal, un un united. Yeah, uh, you mean I mean uh, single retractor. Yeah. See, the the patient can use use it uh, by herself and the gums at uh, the, the mouth the lips still not so tight yeah still still okay lah. still comfort so you can just take uh, uh just operate your patient to do that so you can take photo easily with this okay so what about the contraster contraster so the contraster i love use this one okay this contraster is nice yeah so this is um yeah out of clappable this is from lumiere pro this is made in indonesia so yeah you can buy it or you can you have a style italiano yeah that's good also yeah this this is all just just a black thing on the backside palatal Okay, so 
How about the mirror, doctor? Okay, I have a two mirror. I love using uh, this mirror, occlusal and posterior. So for occlusal, I'm using this one. Okay, this is very good for you to take the photo from third molar to third molar. But this is uh, a little bit difficult. You need to practice. Okay, if you want to take a photo only one regio, one, two, three, or five or four, uh, you change the small one like this. Okay, and I have a tips for you if you have a uh, fogging situation. If you have fogging, uh, just dry it and yeah, just dry and then the fogging it, it will be gone like this. Okay. And you need to train your your assistant. You need to train your assistant how to do it. And you need to yeah practice with your assistant also. So let's go to the live demo. Okay. I will sh I will turn off the the presentation. Okay. Now I will show you with uh, my i will show you how to operate this camera okay uh, this is for posterior okay this is the contrastor okay so i, I bring my camera okay this is already old yeah and i already i already uh, sterilize yeah so how to sterilize this just just swap with the disinfectant tissue toilet Okay, you don't need to add the autoclave yeah oh your camera it will be broken so uh this is the body yeah body only okay i have a nikon this is your memory card slot okay so i change into the manual and this is the the battery see okay i forgot to uh i i will take my memory card first i don't need to Tas. <laughs> memory card. Wait, wait, yeah, I will I will give I will take my memory card. Or you don't need to use memory card. Try. Okay. Okay, we don't need to use my memory card. Yeah. I forgot to, to bring my memory card. So how how to uh, this is my, my lens, my, my macro lens. See, Tamron. Okay one to one okay 60 millimeters okay this is uh yeah this is cheap yeah okay they they already connected yeah and then how about the flash so i love this flash because this is cheap flash and uh yeah this is young duo young duo yn24 ex yeah this is maybe around 250 dollars so we have they have a battery in here okay so i i use rechargeable battery and let's connect it to the trigger okay okay and don't forget to lock and after this you need to add the adapter see I have the adapter so the original it's 562 and the original this time run adapter ring it's 55 I think uh, yes you can see 55 so I use my adapter connector 55 into 62 okay because the the young newer they did not give you the 55 diameters okay this is the bracket yeah you just push like this yeah okay and now you can yeah you can put it in here left and right right and left Okay, so yeah, this is already good and you can take a photo. Okay, 
so let's turn it on okay turn it on the flash okay so you can see this is the manual in manual mode and 1 to 32 this is means as a uh, power your flash you can see the battery okay if if you have a red situation so you can try the flash see i think 1 to 32 is so big yeah so you need to decrease maybe to 64 okay and also they have a lighting in here so you can turn it on the lighting like this so this is very nice to make it you easy to take a auto focus okay see they have a lighting but if you use lighting the battery is exhausted yeah okay let's see the the setup ah you can see manual mode okay manual mode 125 it's like a shutter speed so shutter speed you can like this yeah you can do it like this just turn into the 225 this is f it means diaphragma okay okay you can use maybe if you want to take photo 25 there okay so i saw i saw it pressed here and you can see uh, this is so high yeah don't don't use this this is impossible so you need to lowest yeah very low okay and white balance you can turn in white balance so uh, you can use 5500 okay if you don't have this option so you can use maybe the white balance you can use uh flash mode nah like this flash mode or you can use automatic white balance automatic but i i recommend it to use kelvin okay so all setup is already done and then let's try to take a photo so for example i have this model i have this model so i take a photo and i for for uh for the twin flash the thin flash the benefit you can change the direction see if you take a photo with this direction it will be like this so the object in here so the light it will go out so there is it will be dark in here so you need to see maybe around 45 degrees like this so if you do this so the the light it will be appear on the object okay so let me show you yeah, for example oh very difficult to do I, I will i will make i will try yeah I, i'm not see here yeah. let's try wait 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 see ah so if you want to take the photo maybe i really recommend you to to take a photo maybe to premolar to premolar okay and this is you can see the diaphragma in the middle in the middle it means this is good picture this is correct color you can see i have f25 and i have a standard quality mode picture white balance 5500 okay so uh if you want to if you feel your 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 picture it's so dark so dark so dark so all you have to do just change df okay so you don't need to change shutter speed iso whatever just change df so i will give you some example the picture it's so dark yeah dark picture oh wait this is so dark picture yeah the dark picture the diaphragma it will be different see the diaphragma it going to the left okay this is darker than this darker than this because i increase the f 
See, I increase the F. Okay, so you can see F25. Yeah, F25, the picture it will be brighter. See, 36 dark, 25 it's brighter. So you can see the diaphragma also. The difference, if you feel dark, it will be turned right left. So I will turn off this lighting maybe. Ah, okay, this is better. Okay, this is better. Yeah, see? F25, this is F36. Yeah? So, you don't need to change any kind of setup. Yeah? Just change the F. Okay? If you, if your F, maybe 11, 11, see? 11, it's so bright. See, so bright. Oh, because your F is too small. Yeah, F36, 11 too small, and the diaphragma is on the right. So, this is wrong picture. This is a little bit, this is a little bit dark, and this is the correct picture. Okay, this is a little bit. So, you need to choose on the middle. Okay. You can see this so this is correct yeah so yeah every day i always change only the f only the f but if you feel yeah doctor i want to make some pic some picture you need to use, uh, i i want to make some if you want to make a sharp maybe around in premolar to premolar so you need to increase the f okay if you increase the f so the depth of fields it will be on the premolar to premolar it will be clear picture sharp if you want only maybe i want only in the center only i want to make bokeh you know bokeh situation so the canine it will be blur and premolar it will be blur but the central and lateral it will be sharp so you need to decrease the f maybe uh, 11 but i am not recommend that okay because in dental photography you need to see clear from premolar to premolar okay i, I will give you some example so hey okay. oh already gone okay it's okay so now <laughs> so i use f11 this is already my my lowest uh my lowest uh power power of the flash okay so i want to take the photo with f11 and this is the result okay see they uh, so bright okay so bright yeah i want to make this picture same but at uh, the setting same but how to to make the color is correct so all you have to do is use the the diffuser okay so I have a diffuser. I I I I customize the diffuser. You can uh, you can decrease the power of the light. Okay, like this. This is yeah. You can you can build by yourself. Okay, there is no company sell this diffuser. Oops, sorry. Ah, okay now ah the picture okay let's try let's try with with this i'm not change the setup okay i'm not change the setup oh sorry f11 yeah i'm not change the setup but i only i already use my my softbox yeah mini softbox see oh this is better okay if i if i am 
uh, release this softbox. Oh my god. Uh, sorry ya. You can see the difference without softbox and with softbox. Okay, let's try again. Without uh, change everything and the same length. See, oh, so bright. See, no change setup. This is better. So, I really love with diffuser. It makes your color a little bit soft. You can see the canine a little bit blur. Yeah, canine to premolar blur because of your F is 11. See, you can you can see the depth of field in here blur, but you can see the lateral, central, and lateral is very sharp. Okay, so because of F11 okay you can see this one see blur premolar blur because your F is 11 but F11 you need this one to make your light is a little bit diffuse okay so my opinion yeah I love this kind of photo if you have only four case lateral and inside inside in central if you have a, if you want to take a photo, maybe you want to make a sharp in premolar to premolar, so you need to uh, increase the f. Maybe 30, 20, 32. Okay, yeah, I will show you the difference. I'm talking about the the depth of field. See, see the K9. See sharp. This is F11. The K9 is blur. So yeah, that's oh uh, that's uh, only the change the F. Okay. Only change the F. Okay, F11, F32. So for me, if you want to take the photo for clinical, so I recommend you to use around 25 to 32. But sometimes if you want to see a little bit bokeh, yeah, you can see bokeh effect. Yeah, you can use F11. But you need, you need the, uh, you need softbox. Okay, you need softbox. Got it? So uh, that's my tips and trick for you for using this one. Okay, so let's talk about uh, cam uh, smartphone. Okay, let's talk about smartphone. Okay, so smartphone. Okay, I'm using iPhone seven. iPhone seven. Ah, I will turn off the light. Yeah. Okay you can see the oh this is very bad okay oh my god so that's why so that's why dental photography needs uh, a, a lighting oh sorry 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 so that's why dental photography needs lighting okay you can see this is without without uh, without lamp any lamp or just I use a uh, room lamp a uh, room uh, like okay so this is iPhone 7 so for me if I want to take a photo yeah I always I always zoom in half see I always zoom in and then take a photo so if you don't have if you not zoom in and then you want to take a photo so the picture it looks like uh, yeah it looks white see move oh, blur so that's this is not good okay so i always i always zoom in half so what's the lighting i use now so i have this one 
which is this is my godox lighting mini led so this is very nice because you can clip on see you can clip on and also the price i think are around 25 dollars i i mean i think so they have a rechargeable in here so you can you don't need to use any kind of battery and just turn it on like this and you can decrease the power also less or high power this is high this is less see so this is very very nice okay and also very cheap so i i always do like this yeah just clip on like this because this is very good for you as a dental student you know maybe if you want to take a picture like this but you know this is the lens okay the the best is like this yeah see this is the best way but yeah this yeah i i, I don't have any kind of uh, like a lamp you or mobile phone dental photography or something like that because that is expensive yeah i recommend you to do it like this but this is impossible maybe you can glue it in here but that's not a good idea but if i'm doing like this it it works yeah it works so let, let's do this okay let's try okay so you have a uh, two light okay now turn it on okay where is the ah, okay ah you need uh now we can try to take a photo yeah so zoom in half okay see this is very nice yeah hold like this tap one okay, I, I, will, I will zoom in wait wait, wait i will zoom in okay tap tap and then take a photo tap again tap again and then take a photo. or you can try another angle okay sorry tap again tap tap and then take photo tapping take photo so i really recommend you hey. why they want to landscape i need to ah turn it on the landscape evac see oh this is nice i think see yeah very good lah see the i think this is better in everywhere see that is better yeah see okay i think this is nice yeah so how about the if you only use one lamp okay if you use only one lamp near the lens here see let's see the result so for me yeah daily practice i always i always use my dslr i think this is not bad see this is good also but if you want to make this side a little bit uh, bright so you need another lamp okay at this side a little bit dark because of you only have only one side okay so how about the anterior buckle only with one lamp eh sorry <laughs> see this is good also 
okay so you can whatever you like yeah i just i i love to experimental then i need to resource or something like that and you can also like this okay remove from the the remove from the phone and you can try like this okay wait wait yeah uh, oh so shaking uh if you shaking you will get the blur situation okay so i think this is nice lah ah how about the posterior okay 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 posterior yeah how to take photo posterior for example this is uh this is my 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 mirror okay okay my mirror this is for example this is 12 o'clock situation uh, position if you want to take a photo maxilla uh, lower you can do it like this okay see see you can see the 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 reflection of the mirror so impossible that your your camera doing like this okay this is very impossible because it's nothing happen yeah because you need to do this for uh, for posterior you need to take a photo from your mirror okay let's try with my smartphone okay hey, sorry okay zoom in half zoom in half okay see where are you i'm so difficult to i just want to show you brother sister okay nice very nice okay so the tips and tricks is how to yeah how you to move your finger your left hand like this so the wrong way it's your mirror it's so close on the occlusal the maxilla this is wrong so you need to do like this ah huh? see you need to do like this okay this is the point yeah if your if you need your assistant holding the mirror it's also wrong because your assistant something like this something like this yeah you cannot see that so for lower for lower this is lower lower is like this yeah you you take a photo from the front see let's do lower okay very nice yeah not bad see so the point is uh, how you how you how you place the mirror okay that's the the key of how to take a photo posterior yeah so if you have like this situation don't so close on the top of occlusal this is wrong so you need to like this uh, uh maybe the the jaw okay open big mouth for me yes okay good okay take photo uh, 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 see on the top on, on on the maxilla from the back side 12 o'clock open please ah uh, open yes good open a little bit yes 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 uh, you can see if you're doing like this you cannot see anything but if you retract like this yes nice open ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh. okay so guys i think this is enough let's let's go to answer answer and i will turn on the comment all right guys thank you for one hour yeah one hour not yet one hour 
only one hour i think enough yeah you don't need okay you want to see me yeah this is me okay one hour enough for dental photography oh yep so guys for me yeah you need to practice with uh what else with what I will I will answer the question. I hope you enjoy my life today about dental photography. Uh, I'm not using softbox, yeah, you know. Softbox for me it's for uh, take a photo, for uh, portrait, for fashion, for veneer, for everything. Doctor, what if you? Well, if I want you to recommend a camera for me first time, yeah, you need to buy the SLR with no high brand or just use the D90. Okay, lah. Uh, what should do I as a beginner? Yeah, you need to use. Yeah, for me, yeah, you can use this one. Okay, this one. This one is for you for beginning, because all of you have smartphone, right? So with smartphone, you can try for taking an angle. You need to record the angle. How to use, how to use um, mirror. How to use uh, everything. Just use your phone. What the price of the mirror? The mirror only six six dollars or ten dollars. There's no brand. What is the price of Kodak? There is no Kodak. This is Godox. See, Godox. It's around twenty-five dollars. Okay, ring light. I don't like ring light. You know, ring light. It will be reflection. The but the ring will reflection, and the dimension of the tooth characteristic it will be gone. I'm not recommend you use ring light. You can lock it. Yes, sure you can lock it. Thank you so much. Not seeing from the beginning yeah, because I just I for the first thing I don't want to sh live today because I I have a, a lot of I <laughs> karena saya mau ada keperluan lain sih jadinya tadi nggak mau live tapi ya. Yes, I try life. I, I I try my best. Yeah, so I'm sorry to not publish in the beginning. You can buy it on eBay. How to make soft box? I already share in my IGTV. Auto focus and manual focus. Which one do you prefer? So for me, I always auto focus. Okay. Autofocus it makes you easier, especially for interior. For posterior, if you feel the picture, uh, the condition is so dark, so you need to manual. But you can use the Godox for helping you to get easier to autofocus. How I can I change AFC to AFS, AFS mode on Nikon? You can. You can choose the menu. They have any menu, so you need to. Yeah, maybe you can YouTube. Okay. Thanks for the tips. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I think it's enough. I want to end the video because I want to save it, and I will uh, re republish on my IG, and also on my YouTube channel. So guys, thank you so much. What is camera setting for dental photography? I already give it to you guys i will i will post in my my sorry my setup my, my setup camera what do you think about the soap on the mirror as yeah 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 you can use soap but i think soap yeah sometimes your patient feel like not comfort with that youtube please yeah yeah i will share youtube setting your twin flash please i already already show you guys you can see again on my igtv so guys Thank you so much, yeah. I love you. Maybe I will re-live again like, for uh, dental photography. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.